Hi, I'm Amir, responsible for application engineering of OptiTunes liquid lenses. Today, I'm going to introduce an exciting concept in machine vision, integration of cameras with OptiTunes focused tunable lenses. This integration presents a compact solution for fast focus tuning in high resolution imaging applications, all through the convenience of the camera interface. Join me as we explore the capabilities this feature brings to the machine vision. OptiTunes liquid lenses are a well-known solution for tunable focusing machine vision systems, offering a variable working distance. Powered by voice coil actuation, these shape-changing lenses bring you a fast, repeatable, and reliable tunable focus. Today, I will introduce a new solution for focus adjustment or autofocus in machine vision, where the tunable liquid lens can be controlled through the camera interface using the Genicam standards. This feature presents a compact and plug-and-play solution for fast autofocus. Let's deep dive into the details. Here, we have the buzzer camera connected to the liquid lens controller, and we can adjust the focus in Pylon Viewer. And here, we showcase a camera from the Ethology EL series by Opto Engineering, where the liquid lens is directly controlled using the camera driver. I have set up the buzzer camera now here and let's deep dive into that. This autofocus feature can be applied to many of Buzzer camera models, such as Buzzer Boost and Ace Area Scan cameras. In our spotlight today, we have the Buzzer Color USB 3 camera featuring a 1 over 1.8 inch sensor format. We have mounted a 25 mm optotune lens module in front of this camera. We use OptiTune Embedded Controller ECC1C in the housing of this uh, lens module. The lens controller elegantly connects to the camera using this Y cable and draws power from a 5V supply. The lens controller is triggered by the camera GP IO output line. This means through the buzzer camera user interface, pylon viewer or your preferred buzzer SDKs you gain the power to dynamically adjust the focal distance of the liquid lens. Now let's step into the pylon viewer. As we connect the camera, the features tab unfolds possibilities to control every parameter of the camera. Among them, we have the liquid lens control. Connect the lens, and then with a simple slider, you can adjust the focal power. Here, we move towards the positive focal powers to focus on the USF target. And by moving towards the negative focal powers, we can focus on the background. What sets this configuration apart is the implementation of autofocus at the firmware level of the buzzer camera. This provides a fast autofocus in the order of 100 milliseconds, offering a reliable solution even in challenging low light conditions. By selecting these parameters and by selecting the region of interest, we can do the, our autofocus to focus on our desired position on the image. Beyond Pylon Viewer, you can run the Buzzer Camera Plus ECC1C configuration on our API of the Tune Cockpit. In the camera properties, you have different features of the camera to be controlled. Among them, we have the liquid lens control that you can enable the liquid lens and adjust the focal power. Next, I want to talk about Ethology EL camera from Opto Engineering. What makes this camera configuration unique is the built-in liquid lens controller inside the camera. Here, we have a front lens configuration using OptiTunes EL1640 mounted in front of a 25 mm lens. The Ethology EL camera is powered and connected to the computer using this PoE injector, and the liquid lens and the camera are nicely linked together using this cable with high resolution connectors on both sides. Let's move forward to Itala user interface. Once the camera is connected to the PC, the liquid lens control is available in the expert and Google modes. You can enable OptiTunes liquid lens control using this button. Once activated, different parameters governing the liquid lens become visible and controllable. 
Here we have detailed information accessible, including the serial number of the liquid lens written on its EPROM, along with real-time temperature data and the acceptable current range. We can control the liquid lens in two modes. The current mode, where we define the applied current value, and the focal power mode. Here, we can see that by changing the current value to different values, we can adjust the focus in our image. This is same for the focal power value, where we put the focal power in diopters. This was an overview of Optitune's liquid lenses and camera integration. The Genicam standardization of focal power control provides this possibility for different cameras to add this feature, and there will be more cameras coming. Thanks for watching and please contact us if you have any questions.